Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to do a video about the NVIDIA image scaling. I just did a video for the AMD Radeon one, the a RSR. The one from NVIDIA, uh, it's called NIS. It's pretty much the same quality, honestly. It's on par with the Radeon one. Uh, it gives amazing boost in your performance. And I will explain later like why you should use it and why you should not use it, depending on your video card and technology available in a game. So the first thing that you want to, be, to make sure that you do is uh, download the latest version of your driver. So your video card needs to be supported. Uh, I think uh, the Series 900, you, you guys are good. But I think before that, not too sure if it's working. So your card needs to be like supported, not in legacy with NVIDIA. So go on their website, select your product type. So for example, if you have a GeForce, select GeForce. RTX uh, 20 for me because I have a 2070, your operating system and stuff. Search for it, download and install. When you did that, right click on your desktop, go to NVIDIA control panel. It will open. So the first thing that you want to go is adjust image setting with preview. Make sure that you're using the use the advanced 3D image uh, settings. Click on take me there. And now in the image scaling option, by default, it will be at off. You want to put this one at on. After that, you will have a, a scale that you can move, the sharpening scale. Um, this one really depends on your personal preference. Uh, I think you, you guys should go between 15% and 40%. After that, it's too much and uh, lower than 15, your game will look blurry. For me, 30% seems to be a good fit. Uh, so just do some testing and you will see what you prefer. And after that, you have the overlay indicator. Uh, I recommend to use this one because um, you will see top left of your monitor. Um, if, for example, um, R, uh, RIS is in blue, you're just using the sharpen. You're not using the image scaling. And if the R, RIS sorry, is green, uh, it's because you're using the sharpening and you're, you're also using the image scaling. So super important just to, to know like it's working or not. So you should definitely use the overlay. If you only use the sharpen, it will not affect your FPS. So you will not have any boost. So super important to use the image scaling. When you finish with this, just press OK. And I saw a couple of like people talking about this, the change resolution. You don't want to change your resolution here. You want to go native when you are in Windows. This is the recommendation from NVIDIA. Um, the resolution, you will change it in your game. So you will downgrade your resolution in the game and NVIDIA will scale it back to the native resolution from your monitor. This is the way that you will um, have a boost in your FPS. So now let's go in Lost Art to test this. Before going further in my video, I want to present the BenQ screen bar it's a new screen bar that I've been using for the past two or three weeks on my laptop. And I really like it because a screen bar is a light that aims to optimize uh, your gaming setup. When I play on my laptop, I don't have any proper lighting and also I don't have uh, lights on my keyboard. It's not working anymore, so that's why I like to see my keyboard. It has a couple of features like auto dimming, uh, space saving with the special clip that they provide you. It's glare free, it's USB power also, no batteries. And also uh, it has an adjustable color temperature and brightness on the product. The product is $109. I will put the link on my video description. And honestly, if you have if you're struggling with your lighting, this product is pretty amazing. Let's go to setting game menu, go to setting. So the way the technology work, my example here will not be the best because right now I'm using a second computer with a 1080, 1080p uh, monitor. But for an example, if you have a 4K monitor, you want to, for an example, downgrade your uh, game resolution to 2K and NIS will scale it back to 4K. So this is the way that you will gain FPS and your image quality will not decrease a lot because 4K to 2K with the upscaling, it's working well. If you want to be more aggressive and getting like 40% boost in your FPS, with a 4K monitor, you can put the, the resolution of the game at 1080p and scale it back at 4K. You will gain a lot more FPS, but now you will st see uh, a, a decrease in your image quality. I did a couple of tests and when the gap is too huge, you will see that your image quality will uh, uh, downgrade. 
So now, for an example, for me, I just have a 1080p right now a monitor. So I'm going to put a resolution of 1600 by 900. I'm still getting, keeping my 16 by 9 ratio. And really important to use full screen. First of all, to make sure that everything is working properly with NIS. And also, it's always better in video games uh, to eliminate like stuttering and getting more FPS. So super important. I clip, I press OK. And now top left of my screen, you can't see it because it's an overlay from NVIDIA, but it says NIS in green. So technically my sharpening is working and my image scaling is working. So why you should use that and in, in which case? So first of all, if the game is compatible with DLSS, I really recommend to use DLSS. Uh, DLSS is a lot better than NIS, so don't use NIS if DLSS is compatible. Another thing that is really cool with NIS, it's uh, compatible with all the video cards currently supported by NVIDIA. So if you have like an old GTX 970, it will work and it can help you a lot with your FPS because those cards are kind of like struggling with new AAA game. So that's really good for you guys. Also, if you have like an entry level video card, even if it's a 10 6 uh, 1070, 1060, a card like that, NIS will help you a lot. Um, if you have like a, an high-end video card, like a 1080, 1080 Ti or a whatever, 6900 XT from Air Radeon, don't use this technology. Just go native and put everything at ultra. Uh, maybe if you're struggling, you want absolutely to play 4K and with an high refresh rate, you can do that. But uh, it's it's not necessarily for you guys. It's for more like entry, mid-level and people who want more FPS and they don't really care about uh, the image quality itself. So if you're playing a competitive games, it can help a lot. Make sure that your visibility is still good. But uh, it's a cool technology. It's free and you can activate it by yourself. So if you have any question about NIS, just come in, in the YouTube section, post me your question and your rig, CPU, GPU and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.